Right now, several hundred protesters covered the Capitol Hill on Saturday, rallying in support of the people charged in the January 6th riots. Well, good morning and welcome to News 3 Now this Sunday morning. I'm Taylor Lazenby and we are going to get a first look of our weather this morning with Julian Seawright. Julian, good morning. Good morning, Taylor, and good morning, everybody. As we're waking up this morning, what's well, another gorgeous start? As we can see, plenty of that blue sky, a little bit of clouds, but that sun is gorgeous as we're rolling into this morning. Now, as we take a look at our current conditions as of right now, we are still going to be seeing some cool starts to us, but it's a bit more humid and a little bit more noticeable as our dew points are 51 degrees as of right now. 53 degrees is what we're waking up to this morning. So still a cool start for us, but just probably not as cool as it was on Saturday. But we're still looking at plenty of sun as we're waking up this morning. And as we take a look into southern Wisconsin as of right now, those lower to middle 50s are mostly into the central portions of southern Wisconsin. However, a bit north, 59 degrees for the Dells. Good morning. 58 into Viroqua as of right now. Good morning. And Prairie du Chien, 62 degrees. But Milwaukee is at 61 degrees with 57 in Kenosha. So we're still looking at not a whole lot of consistency, but we're all still cool as we're waking up this morning. Dew points, however, are a bit more noticeable, especially over into the west with 58 degree dew points in Viroqua and 57 for Prairie du Chien. And Platteville in itself is already into those upper 50s. So we're looking at more humidity starting to pile up as we're going into the start of our morning, much more so than it was yesterday. And if we were taking a look at the next 12 hours, if you wanted to plan it out, we we'll just expect it to be much warmer as we get into the afternoon as we're looking at those 80s coming into effect. So make sure you're, if you're going to do any kind of outdoor activities, you're staying hydrated. Over to you, Taylor. All right, Julian, thank you so much. Well, check this video out. This is some video that we shot back on UW's campus back in March of last year, right before campus leaders told students to leave for spring break and not to come back until the coronavirus settled down. Unfortunately, classes went virtual for the rest of the semester and the class of 2020 didn't get its day to celebrate graduation. But Saturday that all changed. Our Talio Moladine explains. It's not often you see students donning a cap and gown at the start of the school year, but the UW class of 2020 is back on campus doing just that. Being on campus as an alumni, it's a weird feeling. It is a really weird feeling to not be a student anymore. These UW alum were awarded their degrees more than a year ago, but today they're finally getting their time in the sun. From the beginning, we said when we can come back, we need to. We need to provide the class of 2020 an opportunity to come back. So the university made it happen. A celebration well deserved after a difficult year of stay at home orders and social distancing. You have all these moments that you're expecting, like this is going to be the last time I'm in a college class or this is going to be the last time I go out with my friends. And we didn't have time to prepare for that. A challenging but unique experience that class of 2020 student commencement speaker CJ Zabat says offers perspective. It makes me really want to take a step back and just soak everything in one last time to be able to be with our class and be together. The ceremony is a chance for graduates to learn one more lesson from someone familiar with success. Buck shooting guard Pat Connaughton. I had dreams, goals, aspirations. My father taught me the importance of hard work, time management and accountability. The championship player speaking from the heart and sharing a special surprise. The NBA championship trophy. <laughs> Bucks in six. Bucks in six. Bucks in six. Today is also an opportunity for alumni to reflect on the highs and lows of their time on campus and the memories they'll never forget. Director Mike Leckron's last year, and I was his last drum major, and I'll never forget the feeling of catching the baton right over there on the Motion W. The very last home game our senior year, singing varsity in the fifth quarter, I was waterworks, just <laughs> full on tears. All right, well, congratulations to the class of 2020. Well, we're turning our attention to some more top stories. Several hundred protesters covered the Capitol Hill on Saturday, rallying in support of the people charged in the January 6 riots. Now, Saturday's rally, which was organized by a former Trump campaign staffer, went off peacefully. There are uniformed officers here who you, you, I demand that you respect, you're kind to, you're respectful to, and you're obedient to. They're here to keep us safe. We're counting on them to do that, and we know that they will. 
as backup defense secretary Lloyd Austin approved a request to station 100 D.C. National Guard troops at an at an entrance near the Capitol, U.S. Capitol Police say about four people were arrested at Saturday's rally. Meanwhile, the FBI is stepping up investigations of threats against election officials. Now, that was after a surge of the following last year's election. The DOJ recently started a task force addressing these calls for violence. Officials say that they are looking for patterns in these threats, including whether some people are targeting multiple election administrators. We want to find out where he is, where is Gabby Petito, you know, we, we want answers. Well, a lot of people are still looking for answers in the disappearance of Gabby, Gabby Pertito. Now, a vigil was held in North, for Pertito in Northport, Florida on Saturday. The 22-year-old has grabbed national attention right now since going missing while on a trip with her fiancé out west just last month. And the man police have identified as a person of interest in her disappearance is now missing himself. The search for Pertito's fiancé, Brian Landry, is focused on a Florida native reserve nature reserve of 50 officers from five local agencies as well as the fbi agents are all searching for him you know, our focus uh, was putting resources on trying to find gabby we knew that if look brian wasn't willing to talk that was abundantly clear we were attempting 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 so we were putting our resources on trying to find gabby uh, we knew we would uh, deal with brian eventually um, but this is certainly a twist Gabby Petito's family and attorney released a statement last night saying the family wants the world to know that Landry isn't missing. He's hiding. Gabby is the one who is missing. And eating right is hard, but every day we learn some, to see something new that we should be eating and something we shouldn't be eating. One of those things we often forget about is fiber. Our Chris Sanford and Leah Lenshine share more in this week's health conversation. As we head into fall, we might be starting to eat more comfort foods than we did during the summer. Oh yeah, but are we eating enough fiber in our diets? SSM health physician and wellness coach Dr. Rupa Shah joins us now for our weekly health conversation. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, guys. Okay, so I don't know a lot about fiber. Why is it good for us in the first place? So fiber, really, there's a long list of health benefits, but um, firstly, it can help reduce our cholesterol. Um, it can also help promote a really healthy weight because we know that high fiber foods tend to be lower in calories and they tend to fill us up. So you feel fuller for longer. Therefore, you're gonna resist the urge to snack later in the day. Um, high fiber can also help stabilize our insulin levels in our body, therefore stabilizing our blood sugars. So really a great thing for folks who may have diabetes. Um, fiber's also been shown to help uh, potentially reduce the risk of certain cancers, such as colon cancer. Um, and we know that high fiber helps promote a really healthy gut microbiome and can help in conditions like irritable bowel syndrome and even help alleviate constipation. How much fiber do we need? Well, the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics uh, recommends that we get about 24 grams for women and about 38 grams for men. But the average daily intake um, of fiber in America is only about 16 grams, Yikes. which means that most children and healthy adults are not getting the daily recommended intake of fiber in their diet. Okay, so how can I get more fiber into my diet? Yeah, so of course, adding a wide variety of foods, things like beans and legumes are a really great source of fiber. Um, fruits, you know, pears, strawberries, avocados. Yes, that is a fruit. Um, vegetables, carrots, beets, artichokes, um, artichokes being a really great prebiotic food. Um, and then oats, these are one of the healthiest grains that you can get into your diet. They're really high in vitamins and minerals um, and antioxidants. And then another great source is nuts and seeds. Um, things like chia seeds, flax seeds, and even hemp seeds can be a really good source of fiber for you. I use chia seeds in my overnight oats huh. every day. Healthful. So what are some other ways that we can use things like chia seeds? 
Yeah, so just like you mentioned, sprinkling them um, for your morning breakfast into your cereal, into your yogurt, mixing them into your oatmeal. Um, I love to add them to my smoothies, which is a great way that I add um, some flax into my uh, morning routine. You can even bake with them, um, put them into pancakes, um, and then sprinkle them on salads. Just about anything you can sprinkle um, a little bit of chia or flax onto. Yeah. How about supplements? So I like supplements. Um, I think that if you're someone who has a difficult time getting these other sources of fiber that we mentioned, then adding a supplement can be really great. But just like with any supplement, you really have to start low and go slow as you increase the dose. Because if you increase too quickly, you can get a lot of gas, bloating and cramping. Um, also, remember that when you add more fiber to your diet to drink a lot more water um, to reduce some of those uh, symptoms I just mentioned as well. All right, where can we find you on social media? So you can find me on Facebook or Instagram at Wellness with Dr. Shaw. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks so much. All right, well, our time right now is 7-11. Coming up, dozens of people came together last night to light up the darkness. We'll tell you why. Plus, here's a live look outside as Julian is tracking your Sunday morning forecast. That's coming up next. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers, and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund, reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Have you heard? Tempur-Pedic sleep is better sleep. With innovative memory foam developed by NASA, Tempur-Pedic mattresses reduce motion transfer, which means less tossing and turning so you can sleep undisturbed through the night. But which Tempur-Pedic is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. Or get a free $300 gift when you purchase a new Tempur-Pedic. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365-night better sleep guarantee. Shop Denver Mattress today, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. Fall in Wisconsin. It's the most spectacular time of year. Right A time for togetherness. Me time for adventure. There's nothing out there close to this. Time to slow down and reconnect. It's what a trip to Wisconsin is all about. If you're struggling with an alcohol or drug addiction, Recovery Centers of America can help. Recovery Centers of America is a leading accredited addiction treatment provider across the United States and near your home. Our facilities provide detoxification and residential inpatient treatment as well as outpatient services. Our team of healthcare professionals can help you recover from addiction starting today. We answer the phone and admit patients 24 seven. Call us now. News 3 Now compiles a quarterly report of our programming efforts to serve the educational and informational needs of children in the News 3 Now viewing area. These reports are part of our public inspection file, which is open to the public view during regular business hours. To view the report or contribute comments, contact the News 3 Now program director at 608-271-4321 or write to us at News 3 Now, 7025 Raymond Road, Madison, Wisconsin, 53719.
Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. As we get things rolling once again for this morning, the three things we're going to need to know before we get into our Sunday morning forecast, we're looking at the work week. We're going to be seeing Monday afternoon into Monday night. We're looking at stormy conditions to be rolling in for us. And then on top of that, after Monday, we're looking for more seasonable temperatures to be on the way. As we're looking at more fall-like conditions in those 60s, and we're going to be onto the dry streak as well once we're out of Tuesday. Now, taking a look at what we're going to be expecting for this morning, cool temperatures to start off, but then we get into the afternoon and evening, it's going to get warm very quickly as those 80s are going to be coming into our forecast with plenty of sunshine as well. So make sure if you're doing any kind of outdoor activities, that you're staying hydrated, especially into the afternoon and evening hours. Now, as we take a look, it's definitely going to be perfect for Taylor and I's favorite graphic as we're looking at a boating forecast for today. The high today is going to be around 87 degrees and it's going to be perfect for going sailing as we're going to be seeing around those 80s throughout much of the afternoon and evening hours. Definitely a great day to get onto the waters. It might be one of the last with some really perfect conditions. Now we're going to be seeing on our surface map this warm front that is going to be sweeping through the upper Midwest, bringing in that warm air, especially with that southerly flow. But then on the back end, we're looking at the another system that's going to be bringing in some cooler temperatures and some rain as well as we get into about our Monday. But throughout today, we're not going to be seeing much of activity at all. Instead, we're just having those southerly breezes bringing in some warmer air into southern Wisconsin. And as we go into tonight, we're going to still be on to the milder side of things. Cloud cover will start to develop, however, and as we get into our Monday morning, we're going to start to see not a whole lot of activity, more clouds, but then Monday afternoon, spot up isolated showers are going to start to develop, and that's going to lead into our Monday night and evening, where we're looking at showers and storms, a line of them starting to sweep their way across southern Wisconsin as we go into Monday night and in the overnight hours, could even lead into early Tuesday morning as well. So make sure that you have your rain gear prepared as we get into our Monday afternoon and Monday nights, because that's when we're going to start to see some storms. It's really going to be into the afternoon side of things, but for tomorrow, we're looking around 79 degrees for our Monday, so it's not going to be overly warm, but still going to be on the milder side, but those are our best chances of seeing some sh showers and storms as Monday and Tuesday. Then we're going to be drying out throughout much of the week. And we're going to be keeping our eye on potentially seeing some showers chances starting to build up, but for the most part, we're going to be below the average next week as we're looking at those 60s coming into the forecast, which is something that we're going to be looking forward to. Now, after Monday and Tuesday, as I mentioned, we're looking for drying out and we're going to be seeing that fall like conditions for us throughout the next few days. So that's one thing that's going to be putting a smile on my face and a smile on yours as well, Taylor, because I just realized I need to be over here anyways. But <laughs> we're going to be looking at temperatures into those 60s and I got to say I'm loving it. It's going to be great. I'm excited. I'm not going to lie. I am excited. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of tired of the warmth. So like I do like it like a little bit like mild like yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday was perfect. Yesterday was nice. The yesterday sun was, was nice. just enough warmth, but for me, I love the 60s. See, my only problem is now I have to like find where I put all of my fall slash uh -huh. winter gear, yeah. you know, in yeah. the house. Absolutely. I'm like, <clears throat> gotta switch it up now. Gotta, gotta, <laughs> gotta. Thank you so much, Julian. Of Appreciate it. Well, in Bellevue, dozens of people came together last night to light up the darkness. The event comes in the middle of Suicide Awareness Month. Organizers say they hope to promote mental health awareness as well. Mental health gets worse at night, you know, think about if you go home, maybe you don't have people at home with you, you're alone, so nighttime can be a really hard time for people, and especially in the dark, so we really wanted to make it apparent to people that we can light up the darkness. Saturday's event featured a one mile walk around the city's community park at dusk with glow sticks and a floating water lantern release on Lake Bellevue. Well, coming up, inspiration for the first privately funded all civilian space crew successfully splashed down in the Atlantic. We have the details coming up next. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. When your home feels clean and happy. The people inside are clean and happy too. Oh. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-914-7929.
Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better, debt free. We'll even show you how to use your stimulus money to jumpstart our services and get you debt free faster than you ever thought possible. Call Credit Associates now to see how much you could save for free. Call 1 800 914 7929. I spent many Friday nights on the football field coaching kids. So when the COVID vaccine became available, I wanted to learn the facts. So I did my research and I talked to my health coach, my doctor. I told Pete it was safe, effective, and free for all. My seven-year-old grandson has asthma and I want to keep us both safe. That's why I got the vaccine. And that means I get to spend more time with my grandson. Don't wait, vaccinate. Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021 is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course lunch starting at $15 and a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021, starting September 19th through the 24th. For participating restaurant menus and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, Ian J. Gallo Winery. When your home feels clean and happy. The people inside feel clean and happy too. Oh. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome back. Well, inspiration for the first privately funded all civilian space crew successfully splashed down in the Atlantic. After circling the globe for days, the capsule landed in the waters near the Kennedy Space Center, making history. Mark Strassman reports from Florida. A three day camping trip in the cosmos ended with a splash off the Florida coast. Inspiration 4, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Inspiration 4, a space voyage like no other. Not a single professional astronaut aboard. That itself is not new. But by orbiting the Earth in a SpaceX capsule 15 times a day... We're seeing the world every 90 minutes. The civilian crew did circles around previous adventures in cosmic tourism. Mission Commander Jared Isaacman, the billionaire who chartered the flight. So a big part of our mission here at Inspiration4 is to inspire what can be done here in space. Crew member Haley Arsenault flipped for microgravity. Haley is a champ at spinning. Arsenault's journey was improbable long before she got to space. This video shows her at age 10 fighting bone cancer. A patient at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. And that is Haley Arsenault on 19 years later, she her backstory fueled Inspiration 4's goal raise $200 million for St. Jude. Watching her launch on Wednesday, six year old Matthew Arp, a leukemia patient at St. Jude today. From orbit, Inspiration 4's crew took space questions from nine child patients now at St. Jude, including Matthew. Are the cows on the moon? You know, I, I hope there will be one day. Next month, a Soyuz capsule will take two Russian civilians all the way to the space station. They're shooting a movie up there on location, so there's no need to build a set. Mark Strassman, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center. Well, there's a half hour of news still ahead here on News 3 Now this Sunday morning. Next, we are running through this morning's top stories. And it doesn't feel like fall, but in Deerfield, fall is officially here with some fun. We'll be right back with the details. Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Impossible. Zero Sugar Trabani is here. Zero Sugar Trabani has zero sugar? Zero sugar. The five zero. And it's lactose free. Naturally. And 60 calories? Impossibly delicious. Impossible. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. 
Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Goby Cars is selling 2018 Ford Escape starting only $10,995 or $175 per month. That's right. Goby Cars is having a huge sale in 2018 Ford Escapes very well equipped starting at $10,995 or $175 per month. So hurry today and just ask for my daughter, Crystal Epistol Govin. Or my dad, Don the Dealman Govin. Go to Govin Cars East or West with over 500 vehicles to choose from. You gotta go to Govin. GovinCars.com is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021 is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course lunch starting at $15 and a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021, starting September 19th through the 24th. For participating restaurant menus and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, Ian J. Gallo Winery. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Coats for Kids needs kid-sized winter coats. At least 6,000 of them to make sure every child in our area stays warm. Please help us reach our goal. Donate gently used kid-sized winter coats to Clinky Cleaners. They'll be cleaned and sent to the Community Action Coalition for distribution. Don't have a kid's coat to give? Go to Channel 3000 and use the Amazon wish list to donate. Track our progress on News 3 Now at Magic 98. Then donate to Coats for Kids. Right now, the Henry Violet Zoo is giving people even more reasons to come and visit. Well, good morning and welcome to News 3 Now this Sunday morning. I'm Taylor Lazenby and we're going to get a quick look of our weather for this upcoming work week with Julian C. Right, Julian. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone, and thank you for joining us this morning. We are looking at a beautiful morning to start things off for us as we are looking at beautiful sunrise, a little bit of cloud cover, but mostly blue as we are waking up this morning. Now, our current conditions as of right now, 53 degrees. We're looking at a bit more humidity as we have 51 degrees in our dew points to start off our morning, but it's still a cool start. And as we take a look at our temperatures in southern Wisconsin, that just supports that we have a cool start as we're looking at much of those 50s around Southern Wisconsin, Janesville, 55 degrees this morning. Good morning. 54 for Watertown, 57 in Boscobel. A couple areas into those 60s, like La Crosse, 65. But for the most part, temperatures aren't too warm as we're waking up this morning. Dew points, however, are very noticeable, especially into the west. We're looking at Viroqua and La Crosse, both at 58 apiece and 59 for Dubuque and for Platteville as we're waking up this morning. So it's going to be noticeable that we're going to see some humidity, and that's going to look to rise as we get into the later parts of today as well. Now, as we take a look, as you want to plan out the next 12 hours, it's going to be warm. We're looking at 86 degrees as we get into the afternoon, so make sure that you're staying hydrated today when you're doing any kind of outdoor activities. But we'll talk more about what else to expect for the work week in a few moments. Until then, back to you, Taylor. All right, Julian, thank you so much. Well, right now, I-39, I-90 is back open, following a crash just north of Stoughton. Now, these videos were sent to us by a driver near that crash, which happened about 11 o'clock last night in Pleasant Springs. Now, Dane County Dispatch confirmed to us that EMS was sent to the scene, by but hasn't been able to report if anyone was hurt. Traffic was backed up for uh, three miles before the road was reopened after just two hours. And Janesville police say there is no threat to a local middle school. Officers say they received information this week regarding potential violence by a student at Franklin Middle School. Now the threat was investigated and police say no valid threat exists. Police plan to put out more information in the upcoming days. I was thinking this is the only time I've ever gone to a pumpkin patch in shorts. And so I'm ready for fall, but it still feels like summer a little bit. 
Well, fall doesn't officially begin until Wednesday and Saturday. It certainly didn't feel like it as dozens of families spent the afternoon at the pumpkin patch soaking up one last weekend of warmth while getting an early start on a fall tradition. We sent our Christina Laurie to find out what's new this year. It's a picture perfect opening weekend here at Schuster's Farm and the past year has certainly put into perspective how fortunate we are when annual traditions can actually continue safely. And for many families, that means a trip out here to the farm. Our big new thing this year is our flower fields, which was going to just be for the summer. Two acres of zinnias and eight of sunflowers are just a few of the attractions drawing families to the farm this fall. Sarah Schuster says pumpkins are plentiful. There's orange everywhere with the spots of white um, and squash and everything's looking pretty good too. And when people drive up to your farm, they'll notice this year that the pumpkins are right in the front. This was the corn maze in the past. So, so why was that change made? Uh, big thing was crop rotation, that the corn maze had been here for 15 years in the same spot and it was time to move. But then in addition to that, with COVID, um, decided that having the pumpkin catch close, that people that don't feel comfortable on the wagon ride are able to go directly to the patch. The Schusters are still offering wagon rides around their 220 acres of land and their haunted forest is back too. We just, we just got so many acres. Um, it's, it, you know, I don't, if we have huge crowds, we'll have to go back to time tickets during the day. Uh, we're just going to have to play by ear. We'll see how things are going, see what the, you know, CDC said. And the fall season runs through Halloween, October 31st here at Schuster's Farm. You can find all of the information to buy your tickets and plan your visit at the link I've posted on our website, channel3000.com. Reporting in Deerfield for News 3 Now, I'm Christina Laurie. Well, UW Madison's class of 2020 is finally getting its day inside of Camp Randall. The university hosted a celebration on Saturday for its recent graduates after their in-person ceremony was canceled due to the pandemic. Our college journey is made up of all kinds of moments like these. Moments in history, moments on campus, and moments of happiness. Well, Bucks guard and 2021 NBA champion Pat Connaughton was one of the speakers at Saturday's ceremony. He says this was the perfect way to celebrate last year's graduates after everything they've been through. And I think it's really great what the University of Wisconsin has done for the students, uh, the ones that weren't able to have an in-person graduation, to be able to get them all back to campus, or at least the vast majority of them, uh, to celebrate such a great achievement. UW estimates about 2,700 graduates and more than 5,000 family members and friends attended Saturday's celebration inside Camp Randall. And it was International Red Panda Day at the Henry and Vilas Zoo, and they're giving people even more reasons to come and visit. The zoo partnered with the Dane County Health Department to host a pop-up vaccine clinic on Saturday, administering shots to anyone at least 12 years old. People who participated were able to receive either the Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson shot. As an extra incentive, anyone who got their shot yesterday was also entered into a raffle for a chance to get a behind-the-scenes tour of the zoo. We really wanted to do our part. We do have some animals here on grounds that are susceptible to COVID. Um, our big cats, our primates, and then our mustelids, which are animals like badgers and otters. And we really want to be able to protect our animals as well. And one of the best ways we can do that is by having as many people vaccinated as possible that come to the zoo. Well, the zoo also had plenty of activities to celebrate International Red Panda Day. They also helped to raise awareness for one of the most trafficked animals in the world. And the FDA advisory panel is rejecting a plan to offer Pfizer COVID booster shots to most Americans. The vote was 16 to 3 on Friday in opposition and members of the panel and outside experts expressed their frustrations that Pfizer has provided such little data on the safety of the extra dose. The panel did, however, endorse booster shots only for Americans 65 and older or those that are at higher risk of severe disease. And just a reminder, if you're still trying to get that first dose of the vaccine, you can still get that $100, but you have to act fast. Governor Evers' vaccine incentive program ends today. And if you need help finding a place to get your shot, you can download our Channel 3000 News app. There you can find a list of some upcoming clinics. 
And several hundred protesters gathered at the U.S. Capitol on Saturday, rallying in support of the people charged in the January 6th riot. As CBS News' Chris Von Cleve reports from Capitol Hill, where security was intense. Layers of security, barricades, and surveillance cameras were in place for this Capitol Hill protest. Former Trump campaign staffer Matt Brainerd organized Saturday's Justice for J6 rally in support of the insurrectionists who stormed the Capitol more than eight months ago. There are uniformed officers here who we, you, I demand that you respect, you are kind to, you're respectful to and you're obedient to. Even well inside the fence perimeter here at the base of the Capitol, there are armored vehicles and police in riot gear. Take a look over here. You'll see these lines of vans inside our officers ready to respond almost like a quick reaction force if there are any reports of violence. This is part of an all-out effort to avoid a repeat of the violent storming of the Capitol that we saw on January 6th. I don't feel it's right for all these people to be locked up the way they got locked up. On Friday, the head of the Capitol Police said his officers were prepared and and warned about the threat of clashes between protesters and counter protesters. In my opinion, that's the most likely uh, scenario for violence. As backup, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin approved a request to station 100 D.C. National Guard troops at an armory near the Capitol. They were cleared to carry batons, but not firearms. By the time the rally ended, law enforcement may have been breathing a sigh of relief, but not letting down their guard. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Well, the U.S. Capitol Police confirms four arrests were made on Saturday. Well, coming up here on News 3, the search for Wisconsin's best Bloody Mary came to a head in Madison this weekend. Plus, it's saving the cranes in the state of Wisconsin. One facility in Baraboo is celebrating a day with a fresh look. Associated Physicians here, so we're going to dive right in. It's been quite a year, and we're guessing that means you've been putting everyone else above yourself. So now we're here to remind you to schedule your annual appointments and put your health and well-being first. Our OBGYN doctors get it, and we are here, as always, to take care of you. Schedule your annual appointment today, 608-233-9746. Associated Physicians, 75 years of caring, helping, and listening. Visit us at APMadison.com. Your eyes, beautiful on the outside. But if you have diabetes, there can be some not-so-pretty stuff going on on the inside. It's true. If you have diabetes, you know high blood sugar is the root of the problem. But that excess sugar can cause the blood vessels to be seriously damaged. And when that happens, this could happen. Vision loss or even blindness. That's right, diabetic retinopathy is a leading cause of blindness for adults in the U.S. But even though you can't see it, there is something you can do about it. Remember this, now is the time to get your eyes checked. Eye care is an incredibly important part of your long-term diabetes management. See a path forward with actions and treatments that may help your eyes and protect against vision loss. Just say to yourself, now I see. Then go see an eye care specialist. Visit NowIC.com to get the facts about diabetes, your eyes, and what you can do next to take control of your sight. Brought to you by Regeneron. He has his grandfather's smile. Her mother's eyes. My cheekbones. But will she have my diabetes? My sickle cell anemia. His father's heart disease? Go to joinallofus.org to share your health information and speed up health research breakthroughs. The future of health begins with you. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. A tranquil lake, a serene sky, an emerald forest, a secret hideout. Thanks for being there just when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Get $500 customer cash on a new Corolla, CHR, Sienna, RAV4, Venza, or Highlander. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Your pipes need to loosen up. <laughs> your furnace needs to chill out. <laughs> no more Freon for your AC. <laughs> you don't need a working ceiling fan. <laughs> Nothing can stop me from causing problems in your home. Oh no, the homeowner's called Action Man and his action team. That's 
That's right, Pesky. Your problems are plunged. Call on Action Plumbing, Heating, and Electric at IWantActionNow.com. Good morning and welcome back, everyone. We're going to start things off by looking at our sky cam because it's gorgeous. We've got to love waking up to such beautiful skies here in Madison, Wisconsin. Our current conditions as of right now, we are looking at 53 degrees. Very comfortable to start off our morning and very cool as well. But you're definitely not going to be looking too cool as we get into the later part of this afternoon. But we'll get to that later on because right now in southern Wisconsin, we're looking from those 50s to low 60s around the area. Definitely a cool start for us. And dew points, however, much more noticeable, especially Towards the west, where we're looking at those upper 50s, knocking on the door of 60 degree dew points. So we're looking for more humidity for today, and the temperatures will definitely be a lot warmer as well. As we're getting to those 80s into the afternoon, especially once we roll into about noon, we're looking for 80 degree temperatures to roll in for us. So make sure if you're going to do any kind of outdoor activities that you are staying hydrated because it will be warm for us, but mostly sunny and 87. Still tasting like summer before we get into fall, Taylor. All right, that's news that we'd like to hear. All right, Julian, thank you so much. Well, an update to our annual coats for kids campaign with your help so far we've collected more than 500 coats this year we're hoping to collect 6,000 kid size coats this year to fill an urgent need right here in our area it just takes a new or gently used coat to any clean key cleaners location by October 9th and the search is on for Wisconsin's best a bloody Mary and it came to a head-to-head -head in Madison on Saturday Yahara Bay Distilleries hosted its sixth annual Bloody Mary Festival now attendees He's got a chance to sample at least 20 different Bloody Marys along with locally brewed beer. Now, organizers say the best part of the day was seeing all the competitors so supportive of one another. We have the best time back there because everyone just becomes one team, even though they're competing against each other and they're coming from different restaurants and different companies. Uh, it, by the end of the day, everyone's dancing and singing. And, and so it's probably my favorite part. Saturday's event also supported the Goodman Community Center. A portion of those sales were donated after the festival. Also new this morning, it's Saving Grains Day in the state of Wisconsin. As our Anna Hansen shows us, one facility in Baraboo is celebrating the day with a fresh new look. Today, September 18th, has been declared Saving Cranes Day by Governor Tony Evers, and self-proclaimed craniacs are gathering here in Baraboo to celebrate the occasion. A new beginning. We use cranes as ambassadors. For an institution almost 50 years old. I fell in love with the birds. I fell in love with this mission. That's what members of the International Crane Foundation are celebrating today. For them, Saving Cranes is about much more than just honoring their past efforts. It's about unveiling their future, which senior manager Ann Lacey says is bright. This is the only place in the world that you can see all 15 species of crane that exist in the world. The foundation has branches in over 50 countries across the world, employing around 120 craniacs for their conservation efforts. The Baraboo branch recently received a $10 million facelift, adding wetlands to all 15 of their crane exhibits, as well as amplifying signage for visitors. For Marketing and Communications Director Pamela Seelman, it's the upgrade of a lifetime. And one of the major reasons we wanted to do the renovation is to make sure that these cranes are so happy. The 15 exhibits for each of the crane species is larger, and they all now feature water, a wetland. The facility has been closed since 2018 the beginning of the construction process. Now, after months of renovation followed by the pandemic, they've reopened their gates to the world's crane fans. And with the new changes, resident cranes and visitors alike are flying high. When you know about something and you care about something, then you're going to care about where they live and why they live there. If you yourself are a craniac and you missed out on today's festivities, you still have until October 31st to visit the International Crane Foundation and see their new renovations. Right now, 11 out of the 15 species of cranes are currently endangered. You can learn more about the foundation's effort on our website. That's at channel3000.com. Well, coming up, UW Health researchers are recruiting expecting mothers and their families to join in two new studies. Plus, we're taking a live look outside. Julian is back with a look at our work week forecast. That's next on News 3 Now this Sunday morning. But first, if you have a little one that is turning three soon, please let us know so we can help celebrate. Locos 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. 
For all of us who weren't born yesterday, there's Consumer Cellular, premium wireless with exceptional value. Enjoy talk, text, and data for only $20 a month. U.S.-based customer service that's been ranked number one by J.D. Power 11 times in a row and flexible plans that you can change anytime. Consumer Cellular is also an approved AARP provider, so members get exclusive discounts. Discover wireless that gives you everything you need for less. Switch to Consumer Cellular today. Call, go online, or find us at Target. Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021 is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course lunch starting at $15 and a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021, starting September 19th through the 24th. For participating restaurant menus and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, Ian J. Gallo Winery. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200, and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures, like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call now or go online for your free information kit from Physicians. Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual. you fake wearing your seatbelt, remember this. Cops have been trained to spot seatbelt violations even at night. And they don't give out fake tickets. Day or night, click it or ticket. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. We're waking up to some cool conditions, but a quick look at what we're going to be expecting heading into the new work week. The three things we'll need to know is that Monday afternoon and Monday night, expect some stormy conditions, so make sure you have your rain gear nearby. As well, we're looking for more seasonable conditions as cool temperatures are rolling in next week to start off the beginning of fall. Then we're going to be drying out through much of the week as well, and that's one thing we're going to be keeping an eye on because today we're looking dry as well. However, warm as we're looking at those 80s coming into our our forecast much warmer than it was for our Saturday and still holding on to the sunshine. However, so it is perfect for once again, Taylor and I's beautiful graphic as we're looking for the boating forecast, gorgeous conditions as well to kind of have that taste of summer before we really get into fall. So if you want to take the boat out for a spin, definitely the day to do it. Now, as we're taking a look at our surface map, we are looking for that warm front to really start to make and bring in warmer temperatures into the upper Midwest. But behind it, we're looking at another cold front that will be sweeping in as we get into our Monday that's going to bring in some more precipitation and that fall like feel as we're rolling in for us. But for today, we're looking at those southerly winds to be bringing in warmer temperatures to us throughout today. Still looking at not a whole lot of activity. Then we're looking at clouds starting to develop coming in from the southeast of southern Wisconsin in the overnight hours. Then as we go into Monday, we're not going to be seeing much activity aside from cloud cover until we get into Monday afternoon where pop up showers will start to develop and then storms. A line of storms will be coming in as we go into Monday evening into Monday night, sweeping across southern Wisconsin. And some of these storms could produce some heavy rainfall throughout many areas. So make sure that you're prepared for some stormy conditions going into our Monday night and overnight into Tuesday morning. Tomorrow, however, looking at afternoon storms, 79 degrees is our takeaway. And our rain chances are best for Monday and really early on Tuesday. And then once again, we are looking to be drying out throughout much of the week. Not a whole lot of chances of seeing some showers or even storms for us. And temperatures are going to be dropping as well as we can 
can see that roller coaster ride has peaked today and now is going to be dropping as we go in throughout the rest of the week with those 60s coming in and plenty of fall conditions. And that's exactly what we're looking at fall, baby. We're looking at 64 degrees to welcome in the fall season. Dry conditions, plenty of sun, warming up a little bit onto Friday and still holding on to 60s throughout much of next weekend. However, we got to get through the stormy and rainy conditions, which is Monday and Tuesday, but today looks to be the warmest and last day of summer, at least for the next 10 days. Taylor, fall is here. Woo! I know, right? Exciting. I'm excited. No, I'm excited. Awesome. Sweater I'm weather. <laughs> I feel like you have some really extensive sweaters. They're probably very elaborate. Maybe. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to say how bougie I oh, am. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, Julian. Thank you so much. Well, deer hunting season is finally here for some groups in Wisconsin. Right now on Saturday, it was the first day for the 2021 archery and crossbow seasons. It will run until January 9th. The DNR says archery and crossbow hunters harvested more than 110,000 deer just last year, including 64,000 bucks. Now you can learn how you can register on the DNR's website. And researchers at UW School of Medicine and Public Health are recruiting expecting mothers and their families to join in two new studies. The research will look at two of the most common chronic diseases in children, childhood asthma and child, childhood food allergies. Now the studies are being funded by the NIH and researchers in UW's pediatrics division and will follow a group of people born all around the same time. The purpose of the study is to try to understand what causes allergies and asthma to begin with and starting with kind of prenatal um, factors or before a baby's born, at the time of birth and after birth, um, what causes asthma. Well, if you're interested in taking part of the studies, you can learn more on UW Health's website. That's uwhealth.org. And for many of us, eating bread may feel like a guilty pleasure, worrying that it's loaded with carbs and low in nutrients. But as experts at Consumer Reports explain, it doesn't always have to feel that way. The wall of bread in your grocery store can be daunting. There seem to be more and more healthy ones to choose from. You'll see labels like multigrain, made with whole wheat, grains and seeds, and more. To help decipher the labels to make a healthy choice, look for whole grains listed first on the ingredient list. A whole grain has all three parts it was grown with, the bran, the germ, and the endosperm, and is more nutritious than a refined grain which doesn't include the two outer layers. Whole grains are high in fiber, which generally makes you feel fuller. More good news? Whole grains are linked to a lower risk of heart disease, diabetes, certain cancers, and other health problems. But labels can be confusing. For instance, breads labeled multigrain or 12 grains can contain a mix of grains and even white flour. Breads labeled 100% whole grain or 100% whole wheat won't have other flours like white mixed in. Less than half of the breads that we looked at that were labeled multigrain, oat, made with whole grain, actually contained just whole grains. In addition to a high proportion of whole grains, Consumer Reports experts say the best healthy breads have minimal additives, 2 or 3 grams of fiber per slice, less than 150 milligrams of sodium, and 2 or less grams of added sugars. Nuts and seeds are an added bonus in bread. They add flavor, crunch, healthy fats, and fiber. Here are some breads that CR raised a toast to. 365 Whole Foods Market Organic Ancient Grains will upgrade your sandwich. It has 16 grams of whole grains in a slice, and it's low in sugars and sodium. Your morning toast will be better with nature's own 100% whole wheat. It has less than a gram of added sugars per slice. A slice of Dave's Killer Bread Organic Power Seed has more than a serving of whole grains with 19 grams. Spread with peanut butter for a protein-packed snack. This is Luz Montez. Well, you can also make sure that you're getting a whole grain loaf by baking it yourself. Consumer Reports has tips on the best ways that you can do that. It's up on our website. And of course, make News 3 part of your weekly routine by downloading our Channel 3000 app for all the latest headlines and weather conditions 24-7. But first, the world's largest collection of pinball machines is closing its doors. We'll have the details when we come back. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. 
Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021 is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course lunch starting at $15 and a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021, starting September 19th through the 24th. For participating restaurant menus and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, Ian J. Gallo Winery. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Get great offers from GM Financial and 1750 cash allowance on Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. values this season. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Fire threatens everything in its path. When it threatens our communities, we respond. We bring the fight to the front line. The Army National Guard stands ready because sometimes the front lines are in our own backyard. We will always be there when our community needs us the most. Find out more about serving your community part-time by visiting nationalguard.com. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Just weeks into the school year, COVID is spreading in our schools, and parents are worried. What's going to happen at 30 days? What's going to happen at 60 days? We're tracking hundreds of school quarantines in our area. Find out what could happen next. News 3 Now investigates tonight at 10. The Dream Big Gala. This live and virtual event takes place on Thursday, September 23rd at Bree Stevens Field. Celebrate our community and the people who make it vibrant by supporting your local big brothers, big sisters. Welcome back. Well, it's a tiny house before tiny houses were even a thing. Only about six feet wide, Boston's so-called skinny house sold for more than a cool, just a cool $1.2 million. According to a local legend, the four-level structure is a result of a sibling rivalry between two brothers more than just a century ago. One brother built the slender house directly in front of his brother's home to block his view. That's so funny. That earned it the nickname the Spite House. Interesting. <laughs> well, also there's a pinball museum which says it has the world's largest collection of pinball machines and it's closing its doors. Like many businesses, it's crumbling under the weight of the pandemic and the museum is auctioning off its illustrious collection of rare and unusual pinball machines and arcade games around 1700 machines to be exact for right now more than 750 of them have been sold the rest will be available at a week-long auction later this month Julian I don't know which one is mm -hmm. kind of cooler I really like the pinball mm -hmm. but the sibling rivalry the spite house, spite house <laughs> is ooh. That's hilarious, honestly. Ooh. I guess pettiness knows no bounds. There you go. That's <laughs> it. That's it. But as we're taking a quick look at our weather, the next 10 days, folks, today is going to be the peak of our warmth. Then we're looking at storms to start off the work week and then fall-like conditions, and fall is finally here. Definitely something to put a smile on our face, Taylor. And put a smile indeed. That will do it for us this morning. We will have Brad and the rest of the game later on tonight at 6 and at 10. Have a good rest of your day.